Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Bellworks. Isn't this phenomenal? What a beautiful setting to have a concert tonight. I'm Elise Feldman, and I have several roles within the Axrod Arts Center and all of our programs. But tonight, I have the honor of introducing our program, one of my favorites, from the ensemble to the musical selections. So first, let me introduce you to our instrumentalists. John Eric Kelso, cornet. Jim Fryer, trombone. Arndt Arnson, banjo and guitar. Paul Wells, drums. Vince Giordano, acoustic bass, tuba, bass, saxophone, and vocals. And the others? Add a few more. I do windows, too. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Backer, vocals and soprano and sax. And our very own Dr. Art Takaro on the piano. Now let me tell you about Danny Backer, a versatile artist, singer, saxophonist, songwriter, and consummate performer. He has won many vocal awards, and you may have seen him at the Blue Note, Birdland, Feinstein 54 Below, Lincoln Center, or Town Hall. <laughs> he and our pianists complement each other with his cool, smooth jazz and pop styles. You know I love him. <laughs> but our pianist, we know him as Dr. Art. As by day, he is the director of hematology and medical oncology at Jersey Shore. But we really know him for being an ardent pianist. We have loved hearing him play the piano from jazz to Gershwin to Broadway. And he has even accompanied our AXCBT ballet professionals. I'm so proud. Well, tonight, with Danny Backer and Art Topolo, they have a marvelous selection for us to enjoy. Enjoy! Thank you. 
more. Here it comes, come in the lapse of love. Man, they don't like the mommy and daddy. Gonna send you around the world. And the girl has no hope. When the man plays the K and L, we'll see you get to be a double L. When the man plays the K and L, we'll see you get to be a double L. Yay! Johnny Mercer knew it in that very old but very classic tune. In fact, I think, Vince, wasn't that on the first recorded jazz album ever in 1917? The original Dixieland Jazz Band. And uh, anyone, anyone remember that album? Don't admit it, don't admit it. it. You do, you remember it, all right. You look good for your age, sir. Thank you. But this is a, really a, a treat to be here. I, I'm, I'm so thrilled that we are next to the world's largest mirror. <laughs> And actually, what's great about it is it justifies the ticket prices. The band looks twice as large, so that's... But uh, what a treat to have Vince Giordano and the Nighthawks combo here, huh? Thank you. And uh, we got a lot to... We won't, we won't be heavy on the talking tonight because there's so much music, so we'll get right to the music. But one thing I've always wanted to do is get a soprano saxophone playing with a bass saxophone. This is very rare, right? You think we can do it? I think we can do it. A little bass and street blues. All right. Tell me off. Sure. Thank you. 
that was back home again in Indiana. And as hot as it is here, I was wondering what temperature it is in Indiana right now. <laughs> you folks having a good time so far? Yeah. Uh, good. Yeah, really How could you not with this kind of music? You know? I have to tell you a little story I heard. I think you'll like this. So uh, a guy has a cat named Felix, and he really loves this cat. He's got to go away on vacation. And um, he says to his brother, can you watch Felix for me? The guy says, oh, I don't really know about cats. He says, oh, it's very easy. Now, they're kind of just self real They, they, they uh, you know, they kind of are independent creatures. He says, all right, just tell me what I got to do. So, you know, he goes and watches Felix. A week into the trip, he calls his brother. He says, how's Felix doing? He says he died. And I said, oh, it's terrible. Don't worry, miss. It's not a true story. Um, and, and uh, oh my God, the vultures are coming in. So what is that saying about jazz today? That's what I, all right, just ignore those. So, you know, he says, Felix is dead. He says, that's very, that, that's very uh, insensitive. You shouldn't have told me it like that. What am I supposed to say? The cat dies? You know, I, I know, but you could have broke it to me a little easier. The first day when I called, you could have said, uh, Felix is on the roof, you know? Next day, you could have said, he fell off the roof, but he's okay. Uh, you know, he's in, he's in the vet. He's, he's getting some testing done. And then on the third day, you know, he said, taking the turn for the worse. By the fourth day, you could tell me he passed away. I'd be a little more uh, prepared for it. The brother says, gee, I guess you're right. I could have been a little more sensitive. Eh, it's water under the bridge now. Anyway, how's mom doing? He said, she's on the roof. <laughs> yeah, looking for a feel like <laughs> poor mom. <laughs> ah, the wind. Thank you. 
Georgia, I'd like to do a tune about a gal I know down there. Anyone been to Savannah? Yeah. yeah well, there's a gal down there you may have heard of. Hannah, hard-hearted Hannah. She's known as the vamp of Savannah. Big pan. There was Hannah throwing water on a drowning man. They called her hard, hard hand. The man was a Well, 
one he would spend with Hannah sitting on your knees. It's like crawling through all eyes in your BBDs. They call a hot hearted Hannah the Vampire Savannah to eat. Well, now, can you imagine a girl like Hannah? She's got the right name, the Vampire of Savannah. Anyone that can take a great big pan and start throwing water on the county man. They call a hot hearted hair the vampires of the GEA. I'd take a moment to just introduce the band if I could. Art, this is Vince. Oh, Vince? Oh, hello. Hey, how are you doing? And, and Art, this is... All right, anyway. How about that money? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. That's when they don't talk. Um, Paul Wells on drums, folks. Paul Wells on the skins. He won't be talented. We call him the King of Schlepp. It is Vince Giordano. The King. The king. I just playing, playing all the bass instruments here. The tuba, the bass sax, and the aluminum bass. We have Arnt Arnson, or Arnie Arnson, on the banjo and guitar. Of course, the very talented Art Topolo, who dabbles in medicine as a hobby, but he's really a pianist. Dr. Art Topolo. <laughs> Dr. John Eric Kelso. Yes. He's giving an honorary doctorate. And Jim Fryer on the trombone. And uh, since we did get a little song about Savannah, I, I can't not talk about one of my favorite citizens of Savannah, the great Johnny Mercer. Oh, yeah. And Johnny Mercer, let's hear it for Johnny Mercer, right? I, I'm such a sucker for his tunes. And he did this great number called Jamboree Jones, and we're going to uh, do it with the, uh, with the band right now for you guys. So the reason I, I, I like this tune is because, you know, we talk about, it's about a clarinet player, and people always come up and they're always like, oh, we love that gold clarinet. <laughs> Does anyone really know that the actual instrument is? I said it earlier. Soprano saxophone. Very good, sir. Very good. Soprano saxophone. I'll get that guy a water. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So uh, here we go. Jamboree Jones. He wins the door prize. Could be a door. Out in West Virginia, in a little college. Very little college. Oh, the stupid body never get people born, never mind the knowledge. Very little knowledge. They knew all about it, couldn't do without it. Said they had it in their bones. Never mind the sheepskin, they preferred to live again. All except the stuff Mr. Jamboree Jones. He played the boat clarinet with all his might. He studied night and day, and practiced day and night. No running up the field for Mr. Jones. He only one the scale and found the scale. What tones? He knew his buddies. Even though his buddies always kept the study, he used to attend the rallies. While they all were rooting, you could hear them tooting and must become a Sally. Where the heck is Sally? How they used to hate him. Cohen's what you date him. He thought it was an awful bore. Funny like the rhythm, all the people with him. So we don't agree and heard the practice some more. Meanwhile, the team marched on to great of fame. When they were asked to play, that famous rose for the game. And down the day of day, the students beam. What did they do when the team marched down the field? A man they scream. That ain't exactly nothing, and you won't forget about it in a free. Meanwhile, from the field that came to the distant well, and it was jamboree. A oh, sweet can hold it, yeah. What did the students there make team all through the field? What did they do when they marched upon the field? They were a strong town, now I'm a certain way. 
Just a ginger hill, just as a college still, just as it always went on. There's a picture in the Hall of Fame. You see the boy with a friend that from the game. Jamboree Jones is a gentleman's name. Jamboree Jones is a gentleman's name. So we're going to actually do a tune right now that um, made famous by the great Louis Armstrong. And this is a tune that I actually did on my first recording. We did a tribute to three Louis, Louis Armstrong, Louis Jordan, and Louis Vuitton. I'm just seeing if you're paying attention. Louis, Louis Prima. And uh, the one, one we put on our album, this was a traditional one. It had no known composer. That's right, right, Vince? Nobody yeah. knows who wrote this song. No. And... Uh, it's Maybe nobody cares. No, I'm just <laughs> Well, it's sort of nice because uh, it, we didn't have to pay any royalty checks from the record. So that was good. This is the traditional uh, St. James Infirmary. Enough lip -nicker. It was down in old Joe's barroom, on the corner by the square. Drinks were being served as usual. A goodly crowd was there. When up stepped old Joe McGinney, his eyes were a bloodshot red as he poured himself malt whiskey. This is what he said. I went down. To the St. James Infirmary I saw my baby there She was stretched out on a, a long white table So sweet, so cold, so fair So let her go, let her go, God bless her Wherever she may be, she may search this whole wide world over. But she's never gonna find a sweet man like me. Now when I die, I want you to dress me in straight lace shoes and a fox back coat and a Stegerton hat. And put a twenty-dollar gold piece on my watch chain, so the boys know I died standing there.
There are 16 cold black horses Hitched to a rubber target hat And there are seven women going to that great yard And only six of them are coming back Now that you've heard my story Pour me one more shot of blue And if anyone comes asking about me Tell them I got those St. James Say you get James and Fummery night I talked to Art on the phone because we were putting the tune list together and I said it's a lot of music so uh, you know I took one of the tunes off and Art said uh, Danny said, yes Art he says you forgot one of my solos <laughs> oh Art I thought that was just sort of a you know a, a, an optional he said Danny my solos are never optional and then his wife Judy got on the phone and the last person you ever want to piss off is Judy <laughs> when it comes to art and his solos. You know, some people are, are patrons of art. Judy's married to art. So without further ado, we're gonna feature Art Topolo on Dizzy Fingers by Zez Comfrey. So let's hear it for Art Topolo. too because that song is normally a ballad. <laughs> All right, now we're going to do a little uh, European composer, Fats Baller. Uh, you may have heard of him. And we're going to do a whole little medley. We're going to feature, uh, we're going to feature Vince Giordano here on some of the vocals as well. So here we are, a little Fats Waller medley for you. Honeysuckle Rose. Should we tell them all the tunes or let them, let them figure it out? Well, they have a program, don't they? You guys have a program, right? No extra charge. All right, here we go. That's well. Every hundred beat fills with jealousy when they see you out with me. I don't blame them, goodness knows. Honey, supper rules. 
passing by a flower to the side, and I know the reason why. You're much sweeter, goodness knows. I'm a honey sucker, but I don't buy the sugar. You just have to touch my cup. You're all of my high sugar. So sweet when you stir it up. When I think it sips from your tender lips, I seem to honey fairly trips. My high confection, goodness knows. You buy my honey sucker boots. Tell me what can worry me. 
crazy about my baby. My baby's crazy about me. This Cupid was the teacher. That's the reason we agree. I'm crazy about my baby. My baby's crazy about me. Now I'm tossing in your book now. Ready in your hand. Keep a steady look out. You're gonna understand. It's a favorite combination. With that perfect he and she. I'm crazy about my baby. And my baby's crazy about me. Yes. Yeah. 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 He can sing too. Oh, I'll keep drinking. <laughs> but the more you folks keep drinking, the better we sound. So That's keep it. them coming. Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna feature Art again because it's in the contract. <laughs> no, no, Art, Art's gonna do a beautiful tune for you. you. Can you do it, Art? Okay, all right. He's giving me the finger. I didn't know what that was about. You want to talk about it? Or you want me to talk about it? Yeah, come on, Art. Tell, come up to the mic. I'll give you the mic, Art. Hold on. That's right. <laughs> Art Topolo, folks. Thank you, thank you. So, I'm going to do two songs. The first is called In a Mist, and it was written by Bix Beidevik. Bix uh, played piano. He was really well known for trumpet, but he really did play piano. And In a Mist has, uh, has lasted. Um, Dick Hyman uh, transcribed it and played it for a ballet class. And he also wrote a thing called Thinking of Bix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the original um, In a Mist by Bix Beidebeck and then go into the Dick Hyman version, Thinking of Bix. All right, I thought you were going to tell him that joke, you know. Oh.
Those are the kind of fingers you want on you in the operating room, you know? Fantastic art. And uh, since we're on the Bix trail, we're going to do a little tune, a uh, very lesser known tune by Bix, although these days most of them are lesser known. And this is a tune called uh, Cloudy, which we mashed up with a Django Reinhardt tune called Nuage, which means clouds. So, how's that for a theme? Mm -hmm.
Thank you so much, folks. Thank you. That was cloudy and nuage. And, um, Vince, you want to sing one with me? I'll, I'll try. Well, what right. do you think? What would you like to do? How about a little old rocking chair? Oh, rocking chair. I'm yeah. sitting over there in that rocking chair. Oh, yeah. We're going to make the folks feel young when we sing this one. So, right. anyway, we're going to do a little old rocking chair. Hokey Carmichael did this. Another guy. He's an Indiana guy. For us. Old rocking chairs got me. Old rocking chairs got you, fits. My cane by my side. You could use that bass instead of a cane. Fish me that gin, son. Since when did you start drinking gin? Or I'll tan your heart. I've been on the sun all afternoon, it's pretty tan. <laughs> Can't get from this cabin. Nice cabin. Ain't going nowhere. Well, we haven't for the last 14 months. Why should this be different? Just sitting here grabbing. Grabbing? Grabbing. From the flies, from this old rocking chair. Those 17 year cicadas will start grabbing you if you're not careful. <laughs> you, don't you forget I'm Harriet. And Harriet. How's he doing? She. Oh, How she. How long in heaven she be? Oh, is that where she went? Okay. Send me down, sweet Oh, Jared. sweet Jared Brown. Oh, and my troubles I see. Oh, troubles you see. Oh, rockin' chairs got me. Say it ain't so, just cause the hair is white, Vince. Judgment Day, Judgment Day is here. Oh, it's Judgment Day. Do you believe in that? Change to my heart.
once was a cat who swallowed a whole all the yarn. Man, there once was a cat who swallowed a whole ball of yarn. And when that cat had kittens, they all had their mittens on. Take it out, boy. Good energy, right, guys? Oh, yeah. So we're still learning, you know, because we've been inside for 14 months. You know, normally we'd be we'd be watching you, you know, in little boxes as we perform without pants on. So we're just getting used to the whole thing, getting back into it without masks. We see faces. This is great. And uh, we're actually going to go by the new the new band. This is going to be Vince Giordano and the Fully Vaxed Papas. That's what's uh, that's what we're thinking of. But uh, so we got we got one more, I think, right? We got two more. Just for that, that was our first one. Now let's see. <laughs> um, Jerry, what am I doing, Jerry? Tell me what I'm doing. I gotta talk to my sound guy when I start hearing that sound. Am I talking too close to the mic? No. Oh, okay. All right. It's Jerry's first day back too. All right. So um, we're gonna do a little strutting with some barbecue, and John John's gonna lead us here, all right? And some. What key are we doing? Hang on, F. Yeah. Yeah. Say, say, Danny. Why don't you do it in G and we'll do it in F and see what happens. But you, you have your CDs here for sale, don't you? Oh, that's right. I should mention that. I do have some albums for sale, and John's got some albums. So uh, if you guys would like to leave tonight, you certainly can buy one. Otherwise, we don't let you go. No, I, I'm very proud of it. The, first, the next album, that I, the recent one I just put out, is actually a million. It's a million-seller CD. You can copy. That's a big deal. You know. Thank you. Thank you. I, the truth be told, I actually have a million of them in my cellar, so if you please help me by buying one. We'll be over there, John will be signing some, and I'll be signing some, and you can meet Vince if you like, we'll be at that little table. And uh, we're going to do a little strutting with some barbecue, so here we go.
Vince Giordano on all of those bass instruments. Paul Wells on the skins. And I'm Danny Backer on soprano sax and voice. Thank you so much. And we're going to send you off. I'm going to dedicate this one to my cousin who came all the way down from Lake Placid. Now, she told me she came to see the show, but I also heard that she came to New Jersey for the waters. So she may have been misinformed, but that's okay. We're going to do this song for you, Gail, and for everyone else here. A little When the Saints.
tuba playing here. Mama don't allow no tuba playing here. Well, we don't care what mama don't allow. We're gonna hear that tuba anyhow. We'll play a fence. standing ovation they're just leaving this is very really sweet you guys are so lovely thank you you want you, we got one more if you want to hear it this, this lady's like no i've got my car parked it's a long walk all right we'll do one more for you okay do you know what it means to miss new orleans to miss it each night and day no, I'm not wrong. The feeling's getting stronger. The longer I stay away. Miss the moss covered vines, the tall sugar pines, where mockingbirds used to sing. And I'd like to see that old lazy Mississippi hurrying into spring. That old moonlight on the bayou. A Creole tune that fills the air. I dream about magnolias and bloom. And I'm wishing I were there. Oh, do you know what it means to miss New Orleans? Well, that's where you left your heart. And there's one thing more. I miss the one I care for more than I miss New Orleans.
to fill the air. I dream about magnolias and bloom, and I'm wishing I were there. I didn't know what it means to do this new Orleans. Well, that's where you left your heart. Yeah, I'll, there's one thing more. I miss the one I care for more than I miss. Thank you so much. We'll see you again. We had so much fun. We're going to do this again at 8 o'clock tonight. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Thank you.